there came a time about four months ago, um, I lost a flat. Basically, I was having rent sent to me, and I was just spending it on drugs. I wouldn't pay my housing benefit. I didn't realize things were piling up around me, and do you know what I mean? And then, as soon as that happened, I got evicted from a flat. Everything seemed to cave in. My girlfriend found out, my family found out, all at the same time. So I tried to move in with friends. They were all using, and they were using me to sell a bit, and I was accepting it to feed my heart because I couldn't afford it. And then I just realised everything. The old monster of heroin and just turned up, my friends, family, there was nobody there, and I thought, no, i got to get up for this now, like, do you know what I mean? Overcoming addiction, you have to hit rock bottom. You have to, you have to wake up in a cell in a forensic suit covered in blood. You don't know what you've done. You don't know who you've hurt. Might be yourself, might be someone else. You're homeless, you know, uh, you've got no money, you're ill, you're looking at going to jail. And uh, you just basically need to really hit a brick wall. It's like slamming into a brick wall at 100 miles an hour. When it all gets, and you wind snowballs and snowballs and snowballs, and then the snowball hits a wall, and you you're on you're at the bottom of a big pit, and you've got to climb out of it. And that is a lot to do with it. When you really get to the point where you know, you don't want to be taking the drug, you're only doing it because if you don't, you're going to be sick and cramp and fall over and faint and fit. And... Now, one of, the, one of the main motivations for giving up drugs could be that you want to get a job or you feel you have a, a specific talent that you think is going to waste through, through drug use. Um, that can be a real strong motivator for getting you out of the, 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 the pit of drug use. Um. For some people, if somebody dies in their presence, that's a good one for getting people to sort themselves up, is waking up next to a dead body. That, that'll uh, knock a lot of people knock sense into a lot of people waking up to a blue person, you know, which uh, happens quite a lot. But I mean, I know of some people who've woken up with a blue person and put them in outside on the street in their car or something and just like gone back in the house and carried on. But some people, it does scare them out of, the, out of using drugs. What do you think is going to help you get to that place where you're able to say no? My kids, because I haven't started seeing them yet, but my mother's in, on about like in about two weeks. I'll start seeing them once a week, so I know once I start seeing them, because I won't, I don't want to be on no drugs seeing them. See, and I know if my mother sees anything like, because she knows what like the pin dies and all that, like, she sees any of that, that'll be it. She'll give me another chance. So yeah, I think that'll be a great help, to be honest.